Okay, let's take a look at problem number eight. In problem eight, we're looking for the limit as x approaches infinity of 3x plus e to the x over ln of x minus 10. All right, so you notice here we're dealing with an infinite limits situation. So we're going to type bar this problem. So type bar. All right, so basically if it's top heavy is plus or minus infinity, equal way to divide, bottom heavy zero. If you have um, exponential functions, as is the case here, or logarithmic functions, you basically use relative rates. All right, so we're going to be using relative rates here to help us to solve this problem. Okay, so relative rates as x approaches infinity. We have to be careful here because... Um, the left and right end behavior of exponential and logarithmic functions are different, so you got to be careful with that. So relative rates as x approaches infinity. Just remember that as x approaches infinity, um, a logarithmic function, ln function is basically the slowest, followed by your um, power functions, and then the fastest are your exponential functions. Okay. All right, so we're just comparing these because that's what we have here. So this is the slowest growing as you're tending towards infinity, okay? And then um, take that out. So this is slowest all the way to your fastest right here. So this is the relative growth rates for comparing how fast logarithmic power and exponential functions grow as x tends towards infinity so how does that help us here well since we're looking at limit as x approaches infinity we want to look at the numerator and the denominator and assess which are the terms that are relevant towards infinity and the numerator and denominator we eliminate the other ones and then we compare those two from the top and the bottom and see which of them is the fastest and we can use tideboard tybo to figure out the answer. Okay, so in the numerator, you have a race or company competition between a linear and exponential function or power function with a uh, degree of one and an exponential. We can clearly see here that the exponential function is gonna dominate. Oh snap, I gotta take this sign. The exponential function is gonna dominate. Always take this sign, don't forget. So that will dominate in the numerator, okay? In the denominator, we have ln x and negative 10. Now, 10 is not even growing. It's a constant, okay? So, uh, apparently, natural logarithm will dominate um, the constant function because it grows even though it's growing at a slow rate. Okay, so this uh, limit reduces to, using relative rates, the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the x divided by the natural logarithm of x. All right, so we'll go ahead and take a look at this situation right here. Um, which one goes faster? e to the x is so much faster than um, ln x, okay? So this is kind of like a top-heavy scenario. And if it's top-heavy, it's going to be um, plus or minus um, infinity plus or minus infinity, but since they're both positives, in this case is automatically going to be um, infinity for this right here. And the argument is, looking at your relative growth rates, is that, uh, well, using Taibo, just remember that this is top heavy because using our relative rates, um, exponents is goes faster than log. All right, so towards plus or minus infinity, and it's positive because it's infinity here. We're looking at a fast growing function divided by a slow growing function. Another way to even verify this is you can just use um, L'Hopital's rule, because if you plug in infinity, you have infinity over infinity, which is indeterminate, and then if you differentiate, you just end up with x e to the x. Plug in infinity, and you end up with positive infinity, but Using Taibo is a quick way to just figure out what infinite limits are without much computation. Okay, so the answer to question number eight is option letter A.
That is how you find limits at infinity involving exponential logarithmic and power functions. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We appreciate um, it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the upcoming AP Calculus AB exam, do give us a like or a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other great math tutorials such as this. If you have any questions or comments, uh, just put it in the comment section below as indicated earlier. Tons of support resources can be found at our website, mathgotserve.com on the AP Calc, and also in the links in the description below. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.